hi there my name is fred and you know what we do on this channel so let's get started now today we're going to be looking at isometric circles i'm going to be showing you how to draw isometric circles that is um circles in isometric form now there is one thing you must understand now you could actually draw a circle in a square all right what i mean is you need a square to draw a circle Actually, you can just stretch your pair of compass to a particular radius of your choice and inscribe a circle, all right? Also, if you have a square, a perfect square, all right? If you join the diagonals of the square like this, like for example, now this square has been drawn and it is um, 6 centimeters by 6 centimeters, okay? A perfect square. So if I join the diagonals of this square like this, okay? And I join this other diagonal like this. Now, if I stretch, since the side of the square is, each side of the square is 6 centimeters, I can stretch 3 centimeters on my ruler, okay? Alright, a needle at the center here. Needle on the center, okay? And just inscribe a circle. Now the circle will touch all sides of the square. All right. Now I needed this square to to be able to what draw the circle. Now here is something you must understand. Now circles in isometric form, okay, they do not appear as circles. They appear as what, as ellipses. And squares in um, isometric form. They do not appear as square, okay? They appear as rhombus. So, in other words, if when you're drawing circular surfaces or curved surfaces in isometric, you need a rhombus to be able to project what is a circle in isometric. Just like you need a um, a square to be able to project what a circle um, in uh, in a plane form. You understand, okay? So you need a rhombus to be able to project an isometric circle, otherwise known as an ellipse, because it will actually appear as an ellipse. Now, let me further explain that using AutoCAD. Okay, now, this is actually the front elevation of a cube, all right? Now, you could see a circle inscribed on the what, on the surface of the what, the cube. Now, what I've done is that I've ins inscribed the circle on all the what, the surfaces or the faces of the what, of the cube, all right? Now, you are seeing it as a perfect what, um square and a perfect circle because you are viewing it uh, um, you are viewing the front elevation that you are standing with your side perpendicular to the surface so it's looking like what a, uh, a circle or rather what you have is a circle and what a square but if i try to view this cube this is actually a cube like i told you earlier if i try to view this cube in three-dimensional form okay in isometric now now this whole uh this square you see here uh, be, we start looking like what like um a rhombus while the circle will start looking like what um an ellipse so let's do that let us do that real quick now see all right now can you see now look at the, the face this is now what a rhombus and this is what an ellipse this is a rhombus an ellipse and this is a rhombus an ellipse so this supports my earlier statement uh where i said you need what a rhombus to be able to draw what an ellipse or rather an isometric circle do you understand so that is what i'm going to uh, demonstrate how to draw isometric circles um on all faces now there are three possible faces uh the north that is the top the plan then the elevations either the front elevation or the end elevation you understand so it is possible for you to have a circular surface on this part a circular surface on this part and a circular surface of this part okay so i'm going to demonstrate that real quick okay so we have um an isometric uh, cube um here a box okay now let me quickly say this now if you want to draw a circle of say diameter 50 all right the rhombus you're going to draw is going to be 50 by 50 if the diameter of the circle is 80, then it's going to be 80 by 80. So, please uh, ensure you 
do not miss that now if the circle maybe for example has a radius of 40 for example so you know the diameter of a circle with radius 40 is definitely going to be what times 2 that is 80 so you draw 80 by 80 so don't make the mistake of using the radius okay for the size of the what of the um rhombus okay so now to draw an isometric circle all right to draw the um sorry an isometric circle that is a, an ellipse okay it's actually a circle but because you're viewing in uh, 3d it will appear as what uh, an ellipse but it's actually a circle now first of all now i want to work on this surface i will draw the circle for this surface i will draw the circle for this surface then you will i will give you this as a um a homework so you do it attempt it and mark yourself all right now the first thing you do is you join the longest diagonal now from this point to this point is a diagonal this is another diagonal now this one is a sh short diagonal because the distance from here from this point to this point is shorter than this so always draw the longest diagonal not the shortest diagonal all right connect like this okay now the next thing you do is that locate the center for example i'm working on this face right locate the center of each what side of the word rhombus now from this point this is six already now my middle is what three now let's assume i'm using five my middle will be what 2.5 you understand so this is three you can see a dot there that's the center of that face of that edge um of this side rather now this is three all right i've noted the center here you note the center here as well three and this surface here three okay now the next thing you do is that choose an angle either of this angle the one that connects the shortest diameter uh, sorry diagonal not these angles okay anyone anyone any angle any angle of your choice here so i'm choosing this one all right so draw lines from uh that point okay to meet this midpoint you indicated here on this side now your area of focus is actually this diagonal where the line cuts the diagonal so you can choose to draw the line all the way to this point or just cut this diagonal and leave it it's the same thing okay but for the purpose of this class, let me just draw the line so you connect like this there are thin lines please not thick lines thin lines then from this same point this same point sorry about that you connect to this center here all right like this now you could also use this point so if i'm drawing from here from this point to this center to this center you can see it will intersect so these are actually the points i'm looking for all right good so the next thing you do is you bring your pair of compass okay now you needle here this point of intersection now stretch your pair of compass to this midpoint here can you see that this midpoint so you needle here stretch to this midpoint now if it is touching that point it will also touch this other one here all right so describe an arc all right now, when you're drawing the arc, do not exceed this midpoint. Do not exceed this midpoint. This is what I mean. Do not draw in such a way that you um, you will exceed the midpoint here all the way down. No, it's wrong. So just stop at this midpoint. Then do the same thing to this other side. Stretch toward that midpoint and draw an arc. Now, it is possible that in the process of drawing this arc, while it is touching this point, it may not touch this one. It might be either coming out or going in. So, what that means is that you didn't project your box very well. Sorry, this room was very well. There is an error. So, you might want to find out what the problem is and fix it. All right. So, what to do next is, now we've drawn this side of the what, of the ellipse. Now, the next thing you do is you needle at this point here. All right. Stretch to this mid either this midpoint or this midpoint here all right so if it is touching this midpoint it must also will touch that midpoint then draw an arc all right like this then do the same thing here you needle on this midpoint a stretch needle here stretch to this midpoint here all right and describe an arc i hope you can see that clearly All right, so that's an isometric circle. Now, the next one I'm going to be doing, let me just quickly fix 
the one here. So like I told you, join the longest diagonal. Longest diagonal. Then choose any angle, either this or this. So let me use this angle. Join to the midpoint here. And join to the midpoint here. Now you will discover that it will be intersecting the, what, the diagonal at this point and at this point. So remember, I've already uh, noted my midpoint along this line. My midpoint here, my midpoint here, and my midpoint here. So I will needle at this point of intersection. Do not miss. All right. I will stretch towards this midpoint here. All right. If it is touching this point here, it should also touch here. Okay. So draw an arc. Do not exceed the midpoint. All right. So do the same thing for this side. You needle, stretch, and draw an arc. Sorry about that. Okay. Do not exceed the midpoint. Then you needle here. Stretch to this point here. Hope you can see that clearly. Then you draw an arc. Right? You needle here. Stretch to this midpoint here. And you draw an arc. So this is how to draw an isometric um yeah, an isometric circle. In other words, an ellipse in a in a 3D form. So attempt this as um a homework, all right, and score yourself 10 over 10. If you get it correctly, score yourself. All right, I'm going to stop here now. In my next upload, I'm going to show you how to apply these isometric circles to drawing real life um, 3D shapes. All right. Have a nice day, everyone. Do not uh, forget to subscribe to this channel and recommend to someone whom you think might uh, need these lessons as well. Also, do not forget to hit the like button. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.